It says, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. So why did I name the, the church Mountain Baptist? Because that's what our vision is. Our vision is to, to, to bring good tidings, to publish peace, the gospel of peace. Amen. And you know, the Bible says in, in Proverbs chapter 29, it says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. And there's a lot of people in, in this whole area, in North Central West Virginia, where, where people are perishing. They're going to go to hell because of lack of knowledge, because the churches don't have a vision. And so we need a vision to, to win the lost. We need to have that vision. And the Bible says, where there is no vision, the people perish. But notice what it says in Acts chapter 2 and verse 17. It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. I believe that I'm a young man, and you know what? This young man has a vision for North Central West Virginia. And not just for Fairmont, which we're in, but if you look at the map over there, all North Central West Virginia. Morgantown, Fairmont, Clarksburg, Bridgeport. And my vision is not a small vision. And you know what, that vision over there, I may look at it and be like, I don't know if we can do it. But you know what, if I, if I thought I could do it, I wouldn't want to be that to be my vision. I want a vision to where I know that God was in it. Yeah, that I that it wasn't just what man can do. That's right. And you know, God with Gideon didn't want he actually didn't want a whole bunch of people to win that battle. He wanted to, to show his glory through a few, through that three hundred. And I'm not saying we need three hundred here, but that would that would be great if we had three hundred soul winners going out to preach the gospel. And guess what? It would get done yeah, yeah. if we had that. So my vision <clears throat> is to win this whole area to, to the Lord. Now we know that not everybody's going to get saved, but at least we can knock every door, we can give everybody the opportunity to hear the gospel. The Bible says in Matthew 28, in verse 19, it says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you alway, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So. One of the most famous passages is where Jesus, you know, left his disciples and just gave them that, that this is what I want you to do. This is your first works. This is your first love. And this is what you need to be doing. Notice there's three things there. Preaching the gospel to every creature. It says going into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, right? It doesn't stop there, obviously, with the church because we're supposed to also baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. But then you're also supposed to teach them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you. But where, where Jesus is doing things on mountains. And one of the most famous passages is the Sermon on the Mount, right? Matthew chapter 5, it says, And seeing the multitudes, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 1, the Bible reads, And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, and he goes on with the Sermon on the Mount that goes from chapter 5 to chapter 7. We see that Jesus was preaching on a mountaintop. Now, why would he preach on a mountaintop? Why is, that, why is that in the Bible? Why is it always like he's on a mountain, he's on a mountain, he's doing this? Well, the Bible says in verse 14, it says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Do you know that what, we're, what we read in the Bible, we're not supposed to just hide under a bushel? Do you know that, that, that the Bible and God's Word and what we do should just be out in the open? You know, cults are the ones that actually try to hide what they say and what they believe. And so we're not a cult because everything's out in the open. And after this sermon, you'll know exactly where we stand and what we believe. Because a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. And I want Mountain Baptist Church to be on that mountain, on that hill, where everybody knows, okay, that's Mountain Baptist Church. That it's clear, that it's written, uh, it's written plainly, it's written big enough to where they, those that run can read it. So the vision, what's the vision? The Great Commission. What did Jesus give us, you know, before he left, before he ascended on high, was the Great Commission, which is to preach the gospel to every creature, right? 